Hey there, Neon friends. You might have seen me use this book in my other videos before. Um, I've had this for quite some years. It's from 1994 and it shows a nice selection of all the neon beer signs that could be seen back in that time with a little bit of description and a year of manufacture and things like that. And written by Robert Swinich. I haven't found anything about this guy. I think this was his only book. If you're still around, Robert, I am your fan. I still love browsing this book every single time. See, I wrote down which ones I have on the first page. So I've been collecting neon signs for 22 years now and I have quite a few, but absolutely no space to display even just a bunch. I only have two or three in the living room that I change out every other month and that's the only times I see them. The most of them are stored away and I only have a little folder with all the pictures on my phone. So with the possibility of custom printed photo books, I got the idea of making a photo book about my collection and using this one as the inspiration or model. Um, I have ordered calendars from this custom printed calendars from this German company Zewe before. So I had them, they also offer photo books, so I had them send me this sample booklet. It shows all the different surfaces and qualities that they have, like this is a shiny photo and then like a matte classic photo, another shiny surface, different papers. This is extra, extra matte, premium, uh, premium matte and standard matte. Um, I decided for this, this is actually the cheapest one, but I, in regards to the black background of neon signs and things like that, I thought this would be the best to look at. So then I spent quite some time editing it in the software of this of this company. See, that's how the software looks. And here are all the pages. Don't want to show too much now. You know, you're never finished. You, you always find something to change. But eventually, some night, I submitted my order. And now look what we got here. That's it. We're gonna unpack it together. Let's see that. Ah, doesn't that look nice? I wanted to make this format, but they didn't have anything like it. So this is the closest I could get. It's 20 by 20 centimeters, which is about um, eight by eight inches. And you can see some similarities with the original in my honor to Robert Swinich, whoever you are or were. Um, so that's the cover, that's the back cover. Let's take a look. Ah, come on. Mm, that's good. So this is the introduction, it's rather personal, just how I got my first sign in this shop in New York and how I got into neon and things like that. Then we have the table of contents in alphabetical order just as the original. And then it goes straight into it. I kept the pages simple and straightforward and you will again see some similarities to the original. So I used this, this border with a rounded edge, although I couldn't make a double one like in the original. What I changed is I put the photo to the top and the description to the bottom and changed these description parts a bit. So now I have something nice to browse for the upcoming autumn season. That looks really good. I'm happy with how it came out. The surface is really nice and the colors are really good. So finally I can look at my signs a bit better than always on the tiny phone screen. It's written in German obviously, but uh, it's only intended for my own coffee table, so that's the reason. I've always hoped that somebody would make an updated version of this one, but nobody did, so you know I kind of had to do it myself. In case somebody w would really be interested in a copy of this, you can write me in the comments. Um, and we can sort something out, although I didn't, 
plan anything like publishing and it was 90 euros by the way that's about 105 dollars today well i can't show you every page in detail now but we can play a game that i just randomly pick a page and tell you something about the science all right <laughs> good example this is a i tried to order a neon sign from ebay that came from china and this is one of those miniature um, replicas it's it has just tiny six or seven millimeter tubing and the aluminium frame is a bit uh, it's not very stable so this is just i think the auctions always say 17 by 14 feet and the first one came broken of course then i told them through ebay and they sent another one that came unbroken but it's just really cheap and not not in any way made for long life so these as i said six millimeter or seven millimeter glass eight millimeter electrodes then this transformer that of course doesn't have ce or ul or anything and it, it even turned off when i powered it with this transformer i think after 10 minutes the original transformer turned off i don't know why so it's even difficult to retrofit a safe transformer because 20 milliamps from the standard well in the us they often write 30 milliamps but the difference is in germany they give you the nominal uh, current on the nameplate and in the us the maximum 20 or 30 milliamps is much too big uh, for these little electrodes and will make them glowing hot so you need to find a transformer with like 10 or 15 milliamps or a dimmable one that you always run dimmed on these so this was my chinese neon import experiment and that one is from a, a german design company called science they are as far as i know a design office but they don't have any own neon vendors they outsource their design projects to i think german companies that bend it and this is a just a palm tree with eight millimeter emerald green in an acrylic box i didn't buy it from them i found it on ebay all right one more random pick oops um well there's not much to say about these i have just introduced that one in my a previous video about my neon road trip um, i'm still looking for a company that made all these like uh, route 66 billiards with the hand and the pool cue um, there must have been a company because they all look the same and they all have egg town transformers but i haven't found out and they're all made in the 90s and that one is a uh, miller cactus for the european market again as i told in my previous video about the Miller guitar repair that the European signs have these capital letters in genuine draft and the overall sign is a bit smaller than the US version made in 97 Evertron transformer made by and distributed by Everbright Ireland Yo. <laughs> this one is also in a previous video and this one also so I'm skipping this page let's see what we got here all right um, made by German company ANS. Diebels is a, a German beer and it's in an acrylic box. You can see that on the photo because it's too dark. I got this with a broken, um, like the bottom part of this glass was broken. It was ruby red and the top part was still okay, but I remade all of this so the tube goes under here and up here. And the red tube is actually white, painted red. The second time, besides the light bowling that I tried to paint a tube red and well yeah, difficult dark spots here overall red came out a bit dark but I didn't have any ruby red glass at that time built 99 bought 2018 5 kV transformer and that one is a Chinese sign Döner kebab I don't know if uh, anywhere else around the world this is known it's a Turkish food that the Germans like it's like a sandwich with a meat cut off this rotating um, column of meat that rotates in a vertical grill and then uh, you get salad and sour cream sauce and a kraut with that and it, I think the sign is made in China because it has had a Hong bar transformer with CE mark and with safety functions I think it's even two yeah two six kV neon pro Hong bar the same company just depending on the customer or the the model they use this or that name 
And somebody sold this on German eBay Kleinanzeigen. That means eBay small ads is something like the German Craigslist. And I got it shipped in original box, double boxed with thick foam and it came through in one piece. It's also thin tubing. I think it's, it's all eight millimeter. All right, one more pick. Yeah, the Burton is, I don't know who made it. Well, Burton is a, a snowboard brand, obviously. And it has a cool neon transformer. So a, a Chinese transformer with CE mark, bought it in 2016. And I wrote here at the comment that the colors look really cool on the sign, but it makes a horrible light for a living room because I once had this in the living room and it just like a, a haunted house on the fair, just green and blue uh, and cool white just makes a horrible light where you can't, where you can't really live. And this one is made in the Netherlands. Um, I bought this in 2006 till 2010. I don't, for my older signs, I don't have the exact dates, but I have some group pictures where I can roundabout see when they came into the collection. Picked it up uh, somewhere not far away. And as I said, a, a, like a Dutch a manufacturer on the back, 5 kV Hansen transformer from Germany, and this reflective holographic foil on a plastic board. I have never tried this beer. I think I have never even tried a regular Carlsberg. All right, let's do one more. Oh, nice. All right, Red Bull. Um, Red Bull is uh, from Austria, marketed from Austria. And I think the guy bought the recipe in India or something like that, energy drink. And those signs have been around Germany for many years from different manufacturers. As I wrote here earlier from uh, Euro Neon, that used Hansen transformers on the frame and then from Lichtcon, which used Technolux. And the, the size and the layout is the same for both. So you can even interchange spare parts and broken tubes, but there are different versions. I think within Lichtcon manufacturer that some have red, ruby red tubes with argon fill and some with neon fill. So the neon fill is a bit brighter and deeper and comes up faster when it, the sign is cold. So you can only see that when you scratch off a little bit of blackout paint near the electrodes. And if it's blue or red inside, if it's an argon or a neon tube. And so all colored glass, the yellow is a gold colored glass. And these signs always look very nice, make a very deep color. And the rolling rock was a repair project. Um, I bought this one in really bad condition from a German guy that uh, trades in US cars and US old timers parts and things like that and it was wasted it was just there was just broken tubes visible nothing was working and but I assumed on the auction photo that this rolling rock and the horse head were complete and the the outer parts were smashed and just little parts were left so I bought this and had it bring uh, through a friend from where I bought it and um, replicated these rings. I think this white one is supposed to sh mimic the rolling rock and then the blue one around them replicated them with photos from the internet and with the parts that were still left and bent these two outer tubes and um, painted over the frame that was really rusty, cleaned these tubes, repainted the blockout paint and basically restored, restorated the sign back to a nice working condition. One more page. Okay. Um, Heineken, I think, is a Dutch beer. I don't even know. The sign is made by Universal Electrics. Uh, I think the full name is Universal Electrics Sign Company, Masspath, New York. A name that can be seen on a lot of nice neon signs. I think they went out of business somewhere in the early uh, 2000s. And this sign has a very bright 8 millimeter green. I think I got this one with not many hours on it. And the white border sits in a plastic reflector, in a black plastic reflector, similar to the red plastic reflectors on the classic Budweiser bow tie signs. Um, I bought this without a transformer. Somebody brought it from the US and I put a, a Technolux 9kV on it. And this one 
Hofbräuhaus in München, yeah, one of the famous breweries of Munich um, that a lot of tourists go visit when they visit Munich. This sign is made by Enhance, Enhance, Chinese manufacturer, I think, and it used to have a, a large word München below the circle in the same blue color, and it was broken when I got it, but I removed it and wired it so that just the rest of the logo works. And the yellow glass is colored glass on this sign. All right, I will maybe show some more pictures in a later video. I will now move over to the sofa and browse this until I find my first typing error in it. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please follow the channel for more neon stuff. Put a like or comment if you liked it. I'll hope to hear from you and I'll hope to see you soon. Bye.